How to make goat milk butter. First, you're gonna wanna chill the milk in the refrigerator till you see that cream line. After a day or two, you should be able to just scoop some off the top. It's not as much as you would find in a lot of cow's milk, but there will be some cream rising to the top, and you can just scoop it off. If you need to freeze it in between, you can put the jar in the freezer and then pull it back out when you have more cream to add and just scoop off what you can. It's almost like a sour cream consistency. It's nice and thick. This is only a couple days old. I'll just scoop it all off. Take a time out to make all the kids some chocolate milk with what's left. Look at that cream and how thick it is just scoops right out. And we don't have to get all of it because it's okay if, if our milk is still a little creamy. We're just gonna get the best of it. When you have a good jar, you can just set it out. You are gonna want it to be at least 50 degrees. Remember, if you had it frozen, check the temperature at the bottom and mix it in. Here we are at 55, that's about perfect. Between 50 and 60 is just right any colder and it's gonna take a long time to make butter, but between 50 and 60 degrees, you can use a blender, you can use your KitchenAid if you're careful for splashing. I'm using my Ninja. And we're just gonna blend it up. You can see, it starts out, it is milk. Now it's whipped cream. And you'll see when it switches to butter, you'll see the butter buttermilk splashing and the chunks of butter forming in the mixer. This is why it can be a little messy in a KitchenAid. You just have to run it a little slower. You can also do this in a jar and just shake it for a really long time, but this is pretty quick. Let's open it and there is the butter and you can see the liquid separated there is buttermilk. We want to get as much of that out of there as possible. So you're going to want really cold water, add some ice in there, and drain off as much of the buttermilk as you can, and then throw that butter in the ice water and rinse and squish, squish the butter together, rinse and repeat until the water stays pretty clear. Then you can dry off your butter a little bit with a towel, paper towel, cheesecloth, whatever you've got. Put it in a jar or other container, add some salt if you want, mix it all around and you have goat milk butter. It does get a little goaty pretty quickly, so eat it quick and enjoy.